Intercalc for Revit supports the use of Revit load objects uh, for design of beams and other elements. So the purpose of this video is just to provide a baseline understanding of how to manage Revit load objects, how they work. Um, that proficiency will be helpful in general for use of Intercalc for Revit. So the first thing that I want to point out is just the visibility controls. Uh, you'll notice in this model right now, there's not currently any loading or analytical elements visible. Loads are categorized in Revit as analytical elements. So the way that you would make those visible is to trigger your visibility graphics control uh, you can use VV on the keyboard as a shortcut to access that, and then use the tab that says Analytical Model Categories. And when you check that on, it's going to automatically show not only the loading elements, but also analytical elements like the stick and planar model elements uh, that are present in the model. You can filter those if you want, or simply turn them all on. In this case, we want to take special note that structural loads are activated, and the three types of structural loads that can be created are shown. So when I hit OK, now we're going to see that these analytical elements become visible. And the way these loads are created is from the native Revit Analyze ribbon tab up here. So if I go to Analyze to Loads, you'll see that there's two different general categories and three different types of loads. So there's point loads, line loads and area loads, similar to most other types of analytical software. And these are subdivided as either non-hosted or hosted loads. So you can create essentially six different types of loads.